Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that kid definitely does not like his job. He didn't say hi. Bring the action. What's up, YouTube? J-Bar back at Taco Bell. Two, two new specials. The steak white hot ranch fries and the steak white hot ranch burrito. Both of them, guys. And I heard some crazy things about this menu. And uh, let's find out right now. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. And what's inside this bag? A lot of napkins, five or six. More than three, which would be the perfect amount. Fork, plastic, burrito, white hot. And the fries, we'll save that for last. All right guys, when you think of like, you think of colors and you think of a hot level, you know, you get a fire. Fire with red flames, okay? Or you meet, you heat up some metal, all right? You're heating up metal, and it starts off silver, and it gets hotter, hotter, it turns red. Get even hotter than that, it turns white, okay? This is the white hot menu here from Taco Bell. And I've seen a few different videos on this on people that have a high heat tolerance saying, woo wee, the sucker's hot, Jack. So, uh, we're gonna find out right here for ourselves. But first, we need to find the elusive, the deadly, the invisible napkin. Oh, nice clean one too. Beautiful. Man, that guy was really, I came here before last week, same, same kid, not very friendly. Don't put the kid with social anxiety at the drive-through window, okay? Someone like me, that I don't really care. You know, I understand. But there's gonna be some someone who's gonna be complaining, who's gonna say, make a big deal of it, you know? We don't want that. So you look at it now and you're like, wow, it's a, just a plain old ordinary burrito, just like everything else from Taco Bell. And they do all kinds of stuff all the time. Taco Bell is notorious for just adding a couple ingredients here and there, calling it a, a new menu item, and we go check it out and, you know. But this is, I never, ever, ever get the steak when I go to Taco Bell. It's always ground beef. Mostly because what kind of quality steak you're gonna get. Uh, I'd rather have cheap ground beef than cheap steak. So, so that's gonna be part of this. How is the steak? And then, how hot is it, man? Because, whoo! Right here, this is the hottest thing ever from Taco Bell. And I don't have uh, Diablo sauce to add to it. I think Brainstorm did this and he added the Diablo sauce. How hot is it without the Diablo sauce? You know, and I wanted to add it after the fact, but I, I can't because they didn't offer me any Diablo sauce. But. I can't really see too much in there. And that first bite is reminding me to uh, crack open a soda because this is hot. It is a tasty burrito though. Um, hot, you know, I'm all, this is the second bite here, so. We gotta keep going, see if it's building, you know, cause right now it's, it feels hot. I'll tell you what, but uh, you know, I've barely bitten any, any of this white sauce. The steak is, it's good. It's not a, it's not like a, you know, prime or, you know, top of the line quality, but it's cut in such small little strips that it's gonna taste fine. It's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be too, uh, too tough, you know. Oh, it's getting hot. Ooh. A lot of french fries in there too. They put uh, french fries, I see sour cream, cheese, steak, <clears throat> tomatoes. Um, I think there's a cheese sauce and there's shredded cheese, so. All kinds of goodies in this, but it's a premium burrito. I think it's $3.50 um, for both, for the $3.50 for the burrito and $3.50 for the fries. 
Somehow this cost me nine dollars and some odd cents. I didn't get a receipt. Thanks to the kid in the window that didn't didn't really care much about customer service. But I was on the app earlier before I came here uh, just to see how much it cost, and it was it should have cost seven dollars for both of these. And I don't know, maybe I got a discount by using the app. And then when I came to the window, it's different. I have no idea. There are so many flavors in here <clears throat> that kind of mute the heat. You know, you got french fries, sour cream, cheese. You got this corn tortilla, not a flour tortilla. These things all take away from the heat factor. I can only imagine a spoonful of this white heat sauce would be really hot. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting nervous because these french fries... You can get right to the heat without all the extra stuff. So we could try this heat and see just how hot it really is. And I think because of all those extra things in that burrito, I would give this heat factor on a scale of one to 10. Whew, I would say maybe, I mean, right now, I've already peaked out, it's already come down. Two or maybe two or three. And I, my, my, my 10 isn't like, um, super crazy. My 10 is just like anybody else's no, normal 10, you know. Here we go. This is the, uh, the matcha old fries. Might need my fork for this one. Some pure white sauce here. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's gonna make you sweat just a little bit, but it's not that bad. Definitely not a 911 on this this meal. But uh, whoa! Clean up aisle three, guys. Clean up aisle three. Whoa! Clean up aisle three again. I mean, it's a. It's a pretty good looking, uh, it was an appetizer, you know, you get the nacho fries, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's a good combination of the fries, the steak, the tomatoes, the cheese, the sour cream, and the hot white sauce, man. Ooh, wow. So I'm pretty impressed. The, uh, no gristle on my steak. It's tender. It's flavorful. It's, you know, it's good stuff. It's better than the uh, ground beef. Um, probably not the best thing in the world. Not the highest grade of beef, but who cares? Freaking Taco Bell, you know? Forget about it. So, the french fries, oh, excuse me, a little bit hotter. But, uh, still only maybe a two, or a two out of three. Uh, still maybe only a two or three out of ten. Not very hot. Which is kind of just kind of scares you because it comes up you think it's, it's harder than you expect and you think it's gonna build but it, it builds just a little bit and that's it it doesn't uh, doesn't get doesn't get scary on so it's that's good um, tasty meal I liked it it was you know hot it was fresh it was good alrighty guys uh, I think that is it thank you guys all oh, watching I love you and we'll see you soon bye bye What's up, YouTube? Jmod back at Taco Bell. Uh, this is the new white hot steak. Blah blah blah. I don't even know what the stupid thing's called.